done. You can accumulate all the evidence. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all that fame. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then, then he did this. And said, okay, we've got elevator trim is set for takeoff. Primer. Is now remember, you can't have that on for the flight test, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I just have a hidden one that he doesn't know about. He'll pop on. <laughs> Crawl up to 2,000, here we go. Sensator panel, all good. Magnetos, got two left. Two right. One left. One right. Fire heat. Light drop. Light rise. Head meter is charging. Vacuum is at five. Oil temperature is rising. Fuel pressure is good. Oil pressure is good. Fuel pump will turn off and check the pressure. It maintains. We'll bring back down to idle. Bring it all the way to idle. Make sure it keeps running. There you go. Now push it back up. Okay. Because that's the first time the engine's been hot, right? Yeah. So you want to make sure it that in the, in the run-up, if you want debris from an airplane, the run-up area is where you go to find debris from airplanes. I found everything. I found wrenches. I found really? sockets. Okay, yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, you know, it was left in there. Nuts and bolts, washers, clevis pins. You think, ah, oh, I bet it didn't fly well without this. Right. Oops. All right. We've got this. Oh, Uh, departure brief will uh, make a right crosswind departure. Uh, anything happens before 700 feet, we'll attempt to land, find somewhere that's not a refinery to land in straight oh, ahead. Good luck. <laughs> not wet either. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, some, some safe place to set down. Uh, above 700 feet, we'll try to make it back to the airport. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, doors and windows will latch. Okay, so so one of the things you want to do is give the examiner a briefing, treat him treat him like you would a uh, a regular uh, passenger. So you want to say so uh, when we when we depart, if we have an engine failure on the roll, we'll just come to a halt and to try and turn off if we can. If we if we have an engine failure after we've broken ground and there's still available runway, we're going to land on the runway. If we have uh, a problem when we're in the air, uh, no turns below below 500 feet. Uh, and we'll just try and find something more or less straight ahead of us and, and try not to kill ourselves. Right. The important thing, if you do have an emergency, you fly this airplane all the way into the crash as far as you can go. Do not try and slow the airplane down or flare to slow it down until you've got you know reasonable ground Adequate contact. To, um, land. You know, as long as you've got control of the airplane, the chances are you're going to walk away. You lose control, you are not going to walk away. All right. So. Okay, 12.50. And we're going to do a short field takeoff, or a soft field, you said, right? Soft field, please, okay. yeah. The reason yeah. for a soft field is it's the first time the examiner gets a chance to see if you can control the airplane, and it's a nice low-energy maneuver. So if anything goes wrong, it doesn't go too wrong. Get our clearance. Conquer Tower Cherokee 2863 Mike at one left requesting a right crosswind departure. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Conquer Tower, right crosswind departure approved, only one left clear for takeoff. One left clear for takeoff, right crosswind departure, 63 Mike. Colonial 2 Tango Romeo, traffic departing party arrival, Cherokee. Tango Romeo. Mike, how far out is he? He's right there on the on the on the base. Mike, he's turned right about a two mile uh, right base to final. Roger, thank you. Keep it going, soft field, not short field, soft field, right? Right. Muddy field. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't don't stop. Oh yeah. Sixty sure. Mike, traffic up one Cessna, left close traffic. We'll be looking sixty Mike. Slowly 
remove the flaps. Good. I guess it's more of a straight out departure than a right cross, but yeah, whatever, it don't matter. Ah, it's okay. Try and deviate a little in that direction so we don't fly over the uh, mobile home park here. There we go, that's better. And you can come back to, to your heading, you can head for the cranes now. Just try and avoid the, the sort of the, right. the um, you know, the noise complaints. <laughs> yeah, uh, and there's no reason to stir them up, right? If you're having trouble seeing, instead of stretching your neck, try and try and do this. Just follow me through here. Delta, Take a small, one small one turn to the right, like this. Uh -huh. Scan out here, and, and then do the same thing in the other direction. And just take your time, and now you can see what's over there. That'll give you the visibility you want without having to make any real, um, any real sort of hauling around. So it's nice and easy, and it's low grade yeah, field. Tango, we're uh, going to LCA. Get off here. Clear, clear right. Oh, yeah, clear right. Golden Eagle 2 Tango, Tango Romeo, Roger, Western Taxiway, Julia, contact ground, have a good day. It, it minimizes the uncertainty the passengers Julia, have, because they can't see and they see you can't see. Right. So try, try not a stretch. We'll go up to 2,500 feet, please, Ryan. Okay. Thanks. Will he tell me altitudes and all that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he'll do what I'm what I'm doing okay. right now. All right. Now I can't do the I've got a black thundercloud over my head the way Rich can, <laughs> um, but uh, I'll 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 try and put you under realistic stresses. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn that rear vent back on so that we get rid of some of the exhaust smell. Cherokee 63 Mike, frequency change approved. Have a good flight. Roger, good day. 63 Mike. Well, let's see if we can get feet dry on the other side of the, uh, the water here. See what? See if we can get our feet dry on the other no. side of the water. It's kind of wet out there. My goodness me, as these levees came down, it made an awful mess. <laughs> you want uh, to go over here or more towards the... Uh, no, I want to go over there. Okay. Because <coughs> this is an airway right here, so we're right on Victor 108. Uh, okay. I, I want to be just a little bit north of it, and then we can be in the, the standard practice area to do the initial... Uh, we'll do the high work to start with, right? So. The examiner's got a choice, right? He can either do the low work to start with, or he can do the high work to start with. So the high work, since we're... Travis approach, Cherokee 2863, Mike request. Cherokee, uh, calling for Travis, uh, approach flight following. Say again, your call sign at destination airport. 2863 Mike, and we'll be north of Port Chicago in the practice area doing maneuvers. Cherokee 63 Mike, Roger, Squawk 5274. 5274, 63 Mike. On a, on a procedural note, dial in first. And then tell him 5274. Okay. So Cherokee 63 Mike, your radar contact, four miles northeast, Concord VOR. Affirmative. Okay. We've got our uh leave the landing light on, cruise pitch power and trimmed. Make sure we're gonna leave it full rich because we're gonna maneuver. That is still good, mostly. And fuel selector is good. Check uh, cruise checklist complete. Good.
Now, if the examiner asks you to do the maneuver straight off the bat, what are you going to do? What do you mean? Well, you need to clear the area. Right. Don't forget that. The examiner's got the ability to uh, imply he's got a lot of authority, which, from your practical point of view, he does. Um, but it's only suggestions, right? You're the pilot in command. Emphasis on command. Uh -huh. So don't let the examiner push you around and get you to hurry things, right? right? You do things at your own pace. Let's do a couple of, just a cu couple of turns here. Do a couple of turns left and right just so that we can give a good clearance underneath us here. Clear left, clear right, making a turn to the left. And by all means tell the examiner, help me look for traffic. Yep. One of the things he will try and do, you feel the airplane climbing? Just relax, relax. Um, he, he will try and distract you and he might say, oh, did you see that airplane that almost hit us? And, and then you, uh, you know, you're going to be, oh my God, oh my God, where is it? No, I didn't. Well, Wasn't that your it, job to tell I, me? It, it, it's, <laughs> that's right. I mean, the, the point is, well, I guess he's gone now, right? Yeah. And, and it's got to be, I'm not distracted, right? Yeah, let's go the other way. There's no traffic below us on that side. Nothing out here. You can't rely on the ATC guys, right? It's not that they mean to be difficult. Watch that altitude. You could feel it pushing you up, right? Hey, it's all clear out here. Fine, on this heading, show me slow flight. Okay. 2,500, slow flight. And, uh, Hey, give me a turn to the left. And give me a turn to the right. New Travis Altimeter, 3019 there. Deep. What's that? Bit steep. Gently, gently. Rudder pressure, right? That's right, that's good. And in the turn, show me a stall. Keep a turn in the, keep it going to a turn and stall it for me. The part all the way to idle and stall it. Keep it in the turn. Keep it in the turn. Stall it. Good. Clean it up. What did you say? Clean it up. Get rid of the flaps. And show me a power on stall, please. Now, uh, with Ralph, we did... I know, but I was going to ask before we did it. Uh, you want full power? Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Examiner will. Right rudder, come on, don't let the airplane wander. Control the heading. That's right, keep it doing its thing. Ah, uh, don't pull power. Okay, good. That's fine. Alright. Let's face Mount Diablo. On 30 degrees of bank, don't mess around with shallow turns here. That's the way, good. Turnies on Diablo, give me a steep turn to the left, followed by a steep turn to the right. No break in between them. Okay. So 360 left, 360 right. <coughs> Get your power set. Left. Now, I fucked up with altitude, we're at 3,000. No, no, I know, okay. I know, that was the power on stall. I'm oh, here. gotcha, okay. I'm, 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 we're going to do something else from here after the... Yeah, the I just wanted to make sure yeah. I didn't... No, 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 I'll tell you if you, I'll tell you if it's unsatisfactory. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> Alright, ready? Always ready. Uh, 2,000. 
RPM ish. What a steep turn? Yeah, uh, I have that. 23. Well, up to you. I mean, it's a speed which you're going to enter at, so it's up to you. Okay. Say 23, we'll try to maintain 3900. 2900. Oh, here. Sure. <laughs> Go too shallow, come on, 45 degrees. That's it, that's the way, good. Don't fight it, don't shallow it out too much. All the way through, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, go, 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 go. Right back, back. That's good. Don't let it descend. Do something about it. Good. And roll it level. All right, that's not bad. All right. Let's turn left 90 degrees, make a point off the wing tip, turn towards it. I just want to be out of the water, that's all, I don't want to get okay. wet. <clears throat> okay, all the wings level. And when you're ready, give me an emergency descent. Emergency descent. Follow me through. Okay. Okay. Emergency descent is power back to descent power setting. Carburetor heat on. 45 degree angle of bank. And let the airplane build its airspeed, right? You want to come down. Right? Someone's having a heart attack. You want to okay. be down, right? Oh, and then roll it level. There's a thousand feet gone. Okay. 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 Let's go back never, up. Never done that before. That's all right. That's the emergency descent, okay. right? Examiner's going to ask you that. Now, the way to do it is pick a point on the ground that you're going to turn around. Right? We did it in your direction so you could see better. Okay. Right? It's the guy's having a heart attack. You want to get him down. He needs more oxygen. Get him lower. Right? Go back up to 2,500 or thereabouts, and then the, we can make a, a progressive turn to the right here. Okay. So. Power setting, do you think? Uh, typically, the descent power setting, 1500 RPM, okay. right? Carburetor heat's still on, yeah? So, yes. Okay, fine. That's all right. Leave it now. So, when you're ready, I'm having a heart attack. My lips have turned blue. My head's falling off. Emergency descent, please. Pick a point, 45 degrees. Let the airplane speed up to the top of the green arc. Right, 45 degrees. Come on, bank it. Bank it. Come on, bank it. Right there. There you go. Watch out airspeed now, let it build to the top of the green arc. Look. Okay. See how it comes down? Oh, it's lovely. Roll the wings level and it will stop descending. Isn't that easy? Yeah. That's cool. That's not hard. Glad okay. You eat prayer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's let's head over towards Rio Vista. Alrighty. Go back up to two or down. Well, yeah, let's put the carburetor heat okay, off while while you're wrong. there. So that's kinder to everybody. Service first, Skyhawk 54102 with you, 4500. Skyhawk 54102, Travis approach, the Travis altimeter is 3019er. So once you're in level flight, um, let's see. Actually, we're going to continue to maneuver? Or? Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to, we, we, we'll, we'll keep on going, we're going to maneuver. Mean, can I bleed the mixture? Um, yeah, you can do, okay. that's fine. 
Uh, except wait until you're off, off the uh, flight path. Anyway. Uh, don't don't lean it in the climb, that's gotcha. not good. Aladdin clear. One zero three. Uh, okay, uh, okay. let's nav one. Uh, okay, that's. Okay, take me to that VOR. I haven't got a hood with me, I assume you got one in the airplane somewhere, if not, doesn't matter. What are you asking? Oh, okay. a hood? Do you have yeah, a hood? I do. You do? Okay, okay. Uh, it's actually behind my seat if you want to grab it. Okay. Uh, or it's a yeah. Foggles, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a Foggles. Okay, your yeah. Foggles, my airplane. Okay. Bonanza 136 to Alpha, 5800, climbing 75. Number 136 to Alpha, Travis Approach, I have you loud and clear. Engaged. And it's your airplane. My airplane? Alright, you want to still yeah. go to that VOR 25? Yes, please. Okay. Take me to that VOR. Where are you going? Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe Skaggs? Oh, you, no, you haven't got a clue. All right, so this is, this is the number one nav. This is the number one radio. Yeah. Center the needle by twiddling the knob. Find out where the VOR is. Right? Center the knob and get it to say two. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought yeah. you had tuned it. No, 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 no. I was just, I was just gotcha. pointing, pointing at it. Okay. Is so that going to take me two? That's going to take us from. Uh, fix it. Take it. Say two. Oh, slow down. <laughs> Ah, it's a windshield wiper. All right, let's head towards that VOR. Okay, okay make the turn. Clear left. No, oh. I'm <laughs> so used to looking. That's all right. It's all right. Standard rate, come on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. 15 degrees of bank. There you go. Keep the pepper on the line, that's fine. What, what, what heading are you turning to? Uh, 20. Do that then. Okay, now intercept that. Don't chase it. Slow down. Stop. Stop making changes. Right. You're currently flying three three. So your airplane is flying in that direction. You're right. That's flying into that needle. So just hold it. Hold it at this heading. Don't. Don't. Don't okay. get impatient. That's number well, one problem right with with um, with instrument flight is people get impatient. It takes ages to learn, but it just just take a breath, relax. Right. And then when it comes in back into the middle. Correct for two. Yeah, and remember uh, 54102, verify you're proceeding to Davis Airport at this time. Hi, yes, I'm going to Davis Airport. I was going to go towards Skaggs Island VOR and then make a right towards University 102. Number 102, Roger. Think Star Wars, trust in the Force, Luke. <laughs> there you go, that'll help you. I can get it on the right down. No, uh, don't worry, it's close <laughs> enough, close enough, right? It's going to be what it is, right, yeah. rather than what you wish it were, so... <laughs> okay, that's fine, all right, let's swap it. We'll go to a different VOR. Okay. Let's go to this new VOR. And you're clear to the right. Okay, thank you. And yeah, let's make a standard turn to east. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Hold on. Right. There we go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright.
Number 1362 Alpha Contact, NorCal Approach 125.35. Good day. 125.35, 6 Alpha. Good. All right. Not bad at all. That's fine. Hey, give me a heading of 360, please. Clear left. And I want you to descend to 2200, turn left, heading 270. 2200, 270. Nice if we started a descent. What's that? It would be nice if we started a descent. <laughs> Good, that's the way. But don't overdo it, right? I mean, set a, set a number that works for you. 2100 will be fine. Okay, that's not bad. Correcting. Not bad. But keep the scan going, right? Keep the scan going. That's the important thing. Okay, move the mixture up a little bit here. <coughs> I want you to close your eyes, okay. I want you to put your head down, and I want you to give me a climbing turn to the right, please. A climbing turn to put the right. Put your head down, put your head down, climbing turn to the right, please. Okay. Keep your head down, your eyes closed. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm not going to, I don't know about you. <laughs> Are we climbing? Am I allowed to ask questions? We are neither climbing nor turning to the right. <laughs> What the hell was that? Uh, your uh, your Stratus thing lost oh. lock briefly. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Making a left. Uh, sorry, say it again. Close eyes. Got he eyes closed. Climbing. Head head down. Climbing turn to the left. Check. Clear left. Okay. Your eyes closed. Yep. Now, if you've got a nice sunny day, you can feel what the sun is doing, right? Yep. I can see it passing me. Your head down, if your head down, it's important that you be not upright, because otherwise it doesn't work. Oh, well, like further down? Yeah, as long as you can, as, put, put your head so that you, as if you were trying to read something in your lap, or look at a body part or something. <laughs> <laughs> you are at least climbing. Okay, we'll start. that's a good start, I guess. Which way are the shadows moving? Keep your eyes closed, keep your head down. Sun is moving towards my right. Was I don't know what the hell. Okay, going so this on now. this is now an unusual attitude. Okay, and recover. I look at that. Okay, so we're going to work on that. So I want you. To, I want you to look at these instruments, right? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So just just pop the hood off for a moment, so you can see what happened. Do you see what happened? The climbing turn to the left became a descending spiral to the right. Yeah. Damn, that wasn't Summer supposed to happen. Right? Uh, Travis Approach 126.6. Have a good day, sir. Let's just look our way back. Make sure there's nobody out here. So, approach could have saved. Use, uh, use, use your climbing turn to, 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 the, to, the, to the left. Yeah, so, you, you, you set up Travis nicely, approach, right? The uh, Travis altimeter uh, is 3019. What happened was, that you were, you were, you know, the usual thing, you get a little bit uncertain. 
The airplane, airplane comes round like this, it's ever so slow, you can't feel it, right? I'm, I'm exaggerating to get it over and done with, otherwise we'll be here all day. Yeah. And then what so happens uh, is, the nose drops, right? Uh -huh. And down now you start to pull back, and now the nose drops even more. Now we're speeding up. Uh -huh. So when, it, when the guy says recover, I want you to look at this. Yeah. That's increasing. Pull so the power to idle. Look at that. Step on the sky, sky west, uh, wings 64, level. To now you can pitch. For altitude, yeah, and now you're going to add power. Okay? Okay. In the, in the turn to the, um, the climbing turn to the right, I don't, I don't want to turn into the sun because it makes it hard to see the instrument panel for you. Um, so in, the, in the climbing turn to the right, I'll just give myself a bit more room here. Yeah, we need to ease up on that a bit after this because my tummy is turning. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Right okay, now, okay, okay, that's fine. So in the climbing turn to the right, okay, so what, what, what happens is that you, you'll get the same effect where you'll, you'll start to not feel the turn and you, you'll, you'll try and emphasize things. So as the, as the, um, Number, uh, five, four, zero, as Alpha the weight comes off, Center, one, as you start to have a good day. not turn again, uh, right? Eight, what will you happen, you'll tend to stall, right? Yeah. And I want you to look, when, it, when, it, when he says recover, right? Look at that. It's gone down, full power, nose to the horizon, wings level. Okay. All right? So that's the way where you want to do it. Okay, so we can defer the rest of this until you've settled. Yeah. Let's go on over to to, uh, to uh, Rio Vista. Okay. Just talk to Travis here. Uh, Travis, approach Piper 2863 Mike. Uh, we're done with flight following for a while, so we'd like to head over to Rio Vista now. Frequency change when you're ready. And uh, November uh, 63 Mike, uh, say area that you'll be maneuvering towards. Uh, we're going to go towards Rio Vista, Oscar 88, 63 Mike. Number 2863 Mike, roger. Your radar service is terminated, squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency approved. Have a good day, sir. Good day, 63 Mike. Okay, 1200 on the squawk, and we'll head to Rio Vista. All right. The, the unusual attitudes, you know, it, it's just basic right, stuff, and we'll, we, we can talk about it some more, and you need to intellectualize it a bit, but let's figure out what's happening at Rio Vista. Uh, how are you going to do that? 127.075. Yep. Get the weather. No, don't do that. Don't do that. You want to listen to anything you're on. Oh, that's right. So put it over first of all. Now select. Yeah, there you go. Zero. Altimeter 3020. Weather advisories. Went 170 at 3 knots. Ceiling clear. Temperature 12 degrees Celsius. Dew point minus 6 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity 29%. Density altitude missing. Condensation altitude 89 or 100 feet. Reovis to automated weather observation at 2121 Zulu. Visibility 10. Altimeter 3019er. Weather advisories. 1050 at 4 knots. Ceiling clear. Temperature 12 degrees. So, um, let's see, we've got two. Uh, so I, so, uh, so I, I, I set in 170 oh. there. Right? 170 is the wind. Now two fives over here, so you've got basically a left crosswind on two five, but it's only three knots. It'll right. be fine. Okay. Okay. So now I'll switch over to CTAF one twenty two point. Do it on the top one. Okay. Right. So all the stuff on the ground do on the bottom radio. All the stuff in the air do on the top radio. If you do that robustly and you you don't forget, it'll become a habit, and you won't end up talking to a radio where there's nobody there. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, go on, report. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee, 2863 Mike, approximately three miles to the southwest. Uh, going to fly over midfield for an entry on the 45 downwind to 25 Rio Vista. Good. Go down to about 2,000. Yep. Descent, checklist, we got our uh, weather, we got our radio set, made our own clearance. And we'll do mixture full rich, fuel pump on. And, uh, 12.50. Switch tanks. Hey, no run, rough running, no 
changing fuel pressure, fuel pump off for a moment. Make sure that we're all good here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right, so let's what, let's fly over midfield so we can see the windsock. So where's the windsock? Uh, there's one kind of between 3-3 three, three and 2-5 yep. on the northeast, and then yep. there's another one at the end of 2-5 yep. somewhere, I think, yep. it's south of it. Yeah, I, I normally use the midfield windsock because that's the, that's the big one, um, and it's easy to find. And the rest we can deal with. I don't know how good I'd be at aerobatics. <laughs> um, you don't actually have to be an aerobatic pilot to fly some nice-looking maneuvers. No, um, I just meant with the but, stomach. But you, you'll find that'll, that'll disappear when you start to focus on it. Mm. Right? The problem is loss of horizon. That, that loss of horizon is a really disturbing thing. And you're doing maneuvers you've obviously never done before, right? So that's okay. Oh, they started to build a new McMansions. Oh my oh goodness! Yeah. Oh, look at that! The last time the Mexicans stole all the copper. Oh no! Well, that's why they raised it, right? Because the the houses that were built as show homes all got uh, all got robbed, all got thieved. There's a it looks like an ag plane straight off our nose. They're doing. Yep. <coughs> doing agricultural stuff. But well, what's what's notable about ag planes? don't have radios, or they often don't have radios, or the guy can't even spell radio. Don't forget to start the descent, so bring the power back to about 2100, let the airplane do the work now, it's not a gymnasium, right? This is not a place to get a sweat on. Even though you may get a sweat on, don't do it deliberately. First landing would just be a normal landing, just okay. to, just for you to get your We're gonna do a full stop. teeth in. No, nope. be touch and go. No. Yeah, don't go too far. Okay. Uh, this is plenty good. You just want to get down to to pattern altitude by the time you're down on the 45. That's really dangerous work. That ag work. The level of precision that they can put the stuff down though is unbelievable. But remember, ag airplanes are not predictable in terms of the pattern or not that they fly. They will take off into traffic, whatever makes their task easiest. But don't turn in yet. Right, you're too early turning in. So let's just go out in this direction for a little while. Okay. You give yourself some time, right? There's an urge to hurry, and haste makes waste, and, and you, you'll end up making it, just making it hard for yourself. There's no need. So you can see McMansion's right here, mm -hmm. right? Fly at least to the western edge of it. Don't okay. don't don't turn before the western edge. And then if you look over the back of your wing, you'll see that brown field there. Yeah. A uh, good place for downwind is somewhere in the middle of that downfield. Okay. Of that brown field. Hey. So call him, tell him you're 40, 40, 45 inbound for right traffic two five, Rio Vista. Rio Vista six three Mike is on the forty five inbound for two five Rio Vista. Keep the turn going. So we try to avoid flying over the farms for obvious reasons, but halfway up the, the brown field is an, a reasonable distance to be working at. Okay, downwind check, spectacles, testicles, volat and watch. <laughs> but don't forget to ask me if my seatbelt is secure. Is the examiner right? will pull the power if you don't. Is your seatbelt secure? Your seat up, right? Seatbelt secure. Okay, power off descent. Normal descent. Everything's good. Approach to landing. 
Uh, Realist of traffic, Piper 2863 Mike's right downwind, runway 25, touch and go, Rio Vista. The landing light is on. Are my uh, seats and belts are up and secure. Fuel pump is on, mixture is at full rich. Landing clearance we just gave ourselves. Up and beam the numbers to 1500 first notch. Just a normal landing, nothing, nothing agonizing here. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike turning base 25 Rio Vista. No base leg, that's not good. All too close. Yeah, you let the wind blow you in. Rear Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike on final 25, Rear Vista. W wind on the ground is not the wind aloft, right? to go around. Probably could have made it, but... No, the wind's actually from the north, look. Not what they said it was at all. Yeah. 2863 might go on around the river, so... We switch runways? Nah, no, this is fine. I need a crosswind. Okay. Can't, can't do anything without a crosswind. But watch, you don't get blown in this time. Is that something he'll fail me on? Well, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll say, you know, you got to make sure you get a base leg in. He's okay. not, not going to fail you because you've got nothing better to do. Right. But, uh, well, I didn't know just that that would yeah. be a failure. No, that's all right. Or... I mean, that's, that's yeah, let, let's see where we are. It's, it's awareness of the wind is important, right? Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, turning down 125 Rio Vista. Right, now pick a point in the distance and, and see what it does if you if you if it's moving relative to you. That right? little grove. Yeah, or, uh, any, 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 anything that seems reasonable is is the further out it is, the more sensitive you'll be you'll be to it, as long as you can still see it, right? Um, but that yeah, that, that, that just the little grove of trees beyond the inlet's not bad. Well, there you go. So that looks okay. Look at that relative to the runway. Are we moving away from it? Moving towards it? We're kind of staying yeah, relatively it's not, close. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Hey, downwind check, fuel's on, fuel oh. pump's on, mixture's rich, seatbelt's secure. Downwind check's complete. Rear Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, base 25, Rear Vista.
He's not fussy on you putting the flaps in in the turn. I don't mind, but but he's he's got that as a sort of don't do that. Okay. So just be aware of it. it do he, it after. He, he won't fail you for it, but but you know don't don't um don't be in too much of a hurry to add drag. Okay. You've plenty of time to add drag, right? Good. Now you're a real base leg, and a little bit of time to plan for the wind, right? Turn early. That's the way. Rio Vista, Cherokee, 63 Mike, final 25 Rio Vista. So don't forget to say Rio Vista traffic. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, bring the power to idle. Right, as soon as, the, soon as the threshold starts to disappear, power comes smoothly back. It's straight. Go when you're ready. Our peeps off. Full power. Full power. Yeah, Rio Vista traffic, Piper 2863, Mike's upwind, 25, staying in the pattern at Rio Vista. That's so the guy that's taxiing out knows what we're doing. Okay, this time let's do a soft field landing, yeah? Okay. Yeah, Rio Vista traffic, 6-3 Mike's turning right crosswind, 2-5 Rio Vista. So make sure you make it a square pattern, you, you, you can see you've got square references right here uh -huh. on the ground, right? They work pretty well for you. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, to turning down 125, Rio Vista. Well, be careful when you're flying over people like this, right? Yeah. Make sure you don't uh, don't offend the force by pissing them off. That never helps. Should have uh, made it tighter. I was more worried about the pattern squareness. Yeah. That's practice, it's just hours, it's just time. Bring the power back a little bit so it's not so loud on the ground. There you go. At 2,000 RPM should be plenty to fly level out here. Okay, get your downwind check done. We got, uh, your, your gas is on, mixture is rich, fuel pump is on, undercarriage is down and welded, gears full rich. Um, you said that. I know. Seatbelt secure. Uh, Seatbelt secure. Spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch. Pills on, mixtures rich, fuel pumps on, seatbelt secure. Is your seatbelt secure? Yes, my seatbelt secure. Okay, let's do this. Rehearse it till you're sick of it. That's, yeah, that's the, that's some, the method. Uh, finger flying. Yep. Sit there and babble to yourself while people wonder what's wrong with you, but that's okay. <laughs> it's their problem. They're used to that. They never get used to that. But too far now. This is a normal landing, but you're going to Delay touchdown with a little bit of power. See how you do. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, base 25 Rio Vista. But don't forget it's the right base. Okay. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, final 25 Rio Vista. High as fuck. Just relax. Bring the power back a little. It's off. <laughs> All right. Well, then it's off. Slip. Uh, just relax. You have plenty of time. No okay. problem. Come down like a grease grand piano. <laughs> The 
bit of power. That was hard. What are you gonna full stop or roll? My airplane. You gotta follow me through. Okay. S P is live, rotate, positive rotation, and pitch up for a short field departure. Push it over the top, fifty feet. There we go, start to clean it up. No problem. Easy peasy. Alright, your airplane. My airplane. Right. That's what I want you to do this time after you've done a soft field landing. Okay. Soft this time, right? <laughs> Big S, right? Soft. Four two tango, you on frequency? No, no, 500. Oh, five? Yeah, 700 when it, when uh, there's noise areas like oh, okay. Concord, but 500 is the standard. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, turning crosswind for 25 Rio Vista. Nobody out there. Can't see nobody. Just drop the wing. Turn around. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Selected, undercarriage is down and welded. Here's full rich. Don't have to worry about the prop, and your seatbelt is seatbelt secure. And up. your seat is up. Yeah, most people don't know enough to recline the seat. Yeah. Back to 1500. You're, you're getting distracted. Rio Vista traffic archer 341 Tango Alpha is departing runway 25 for a right crosswind departure. Rio Vista. Rio Vista traffic Cherokee 63 Mike on final 25 Rio Vista. I want to get the soft field landing right. That's important. Right, as the threshold disappears, bring the power all the way to idle. There you go. And in the flare, as you start the flare, ease the power back in a little bit. Yeah, sort of. Don't go off the runway. Alright, let's do a Short field from here. Go on, full power. All right, watch your airspeed. 53. Rotate. Positive rotation. Pitch up, hold it below 60. That's right. That's it. Good. Keep going, keep it going, keep it going. Eight 100 feet. Push it over. Push your nose over. Let the airplane accelerate. Get rid of one notch of flaps.
500 feet otherwise, right? Yeah. That's what he's doing, you know. Uh, I mean, you're going to follow him around anyway, so. He said he was you know. departing. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right cross went departure. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike crosswind for 25 Rio Vista. Climb, not speed. Yeah, bring it back to about 2100 or 2000 RPM, close enough. There you go. Those wings level. Right, should we try a short field landing? Sure. Okay, short field landing. I want you to touch down after the first white center line stripe. You got the threshold. So between the second and the uh, first and the second. So, so you've got the threshold, the two five, the first center line stripe. I want you to touch down after the first center line stripe. Okay. All right. Now, rear vista traffic, uh, Piper two eight six three Mike. Downwind about to turn right base, runway 25, Rio Vista. So here's a hint. Add the next notch of flaps now. Okay. Right, add them one turn early. Makes it easier for you to get configured. Right, but only when you're doing a short field landing, because it's about energy management, it's the square of velocity is your problem. So you just, just put the flaps in one turn before you normally would. But don't add power like that, right? Come back to where you were. Keep keep the power yeah. setting constant. Otherwise, you, you, you're you going to be juggling the energy, right? It's hard to maintain it stable. But I know you feel like you're getting close to the ground. You're not. You're plenty high. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 6 3 Mike, turning final 2-5, Rio Vista. Now, you're going to control your aiming point. Your aiming point is going to be just before the end of that first set of line stripe, and it's going to be the pl the point that isn't moving on the uh, on the windshield. And if you're going long, which you are, reduce power to touch. The touch. Get that speed set. Come on, don't 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 be slow getting the speed set. A little bit fast. Uh, cut off. No, no, no. It, uh, speed is controlled by pitch. Good. See the way it floated? Keep it straight. Don't go off the runway. Don't go off the runway. Replace my tires after that. Uh, you you got to watch as a crosswind, right? Uh -huh. Right. Do we a short field takeoff? Pitch, 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 pitch. Good. Push it over. Obstacle cleared. A nice easy way to practice it, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what you're doing, you're just not doing the standing part of it. It's an easy way for the examiner to see that you can flow from task A to task B. And that's not to be underestimated, the value of that. Right, so you've got to nail the airspeed, right? So. This time we'll do that again, and let's let's uh, let's watch the airspeed if we can. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee six three Mike, turning crosswind for two five Rio Vista. Watch your airspeed; it's way high. You got to climb, right? Oh, yeah.
got to be super careful when there's cattle in the field like this, right? It's it's uh, calving season, and a noisy pass over them is likely to cause spontaneous abortion. And you can bet your life the farmer's not going to be pleased about that. Yeah. So. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 6 through Mike, down 125, Rio Vista. So again, short field landing, touchdown after the first center line stripe. This time I want you to nail that airspeed. I don't want it above 65. 60 would be my preference. Okay. And keep it on the center line. Do not wander off into the weeds this time. That second notch of flaps in. Good. Rear Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, right base, Rear Vista, for 25. That last notch of flaps in. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, final 25 Rio Vista. Oh, we are high. You've got to do something about this. Oh, look at the airspeed build. Don't let it build. Oh. All right, go around. Let's 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 make this work. Rio Vista traffic six three Mike going around two five Rio Vista. Rid of the rest of the flaps and let's climb. No, no low passes here. Up, 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 up. That airspeed back to something that's respectable. There we go. This time I'll try and demo it and follow me through, right? So okay. you can see what, what, what we can do here. And uh, would you mind if we did a full stop here? Oh, whatever, you, whatever you want to do. Well, just uh, take a break. Out absolutely, a absolutely. Minutes. It's fine. Whatever you want to do. You just you, you call the shots and we'll, we'll make okay. it fit, right? They have a restroom there? Oh, yeah. I've never they been got, out on the ground there. Oh, they got everything at Rio Vista. Well, not, not really, but, you know, basic it, 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 it's uh, all very basic. And there's always a restroom, whether there is or not, right? Uh, I've known Rich to get out and tell someone to keep the engine running at a low takeover while he stands at the back of the plane for a pee. Uh. He's done that twice with two lady applicants that I know. That was hilarious. That's the problem with old age, you know? You start to accumulate all these minor inconveniences. No pun intended. <laughs> all right, so here we are. We're on. We're on downwind, right? So we're going to get it all set up yeah, here. Right? Yeah, go on. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee six three Mike downwind for two five Rio Vista. Okay, so follow me through now. Okay. Don't take your hands off the yoke. All right, just keep 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 it keep it keep the controls to me. Okay. Let that then we'll work it from there. So we are. We're at a thousand feet. We'll get that. So we got fills on. Mixtures rich. Fill pumps on. Seat belt secure. Is your seat belt secure? Yes, secure. Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. I'm halfway down downwind. I'm inside the white arc. I'm going to put in the first notch of flaps. That's going to make it easy for me. And then we're going to just work our way along here. Make sure we got enough room. And make sure the airplane is in trim. Have you got electric trim on this? No, you just got, you just got manual trim. I'll be in the threshold. I'm going to put 1500 RPM, more or less, if I can find it. Feels a bit funny. I'll let the airplane slow down a little bit. I'm going to trim it just a little bit up here so that I'm not actually doing anything difficult. That's a little low on power, but we'll get there eventually. And we'll put in the second notch of flaps. 
We'll talk to them and tell them what we're doing. Yeah, Rio Vista traffic. Piper 2863 Mike, turning right, base, runway 25, Rio Vista. Nothing's gonna run me down. Make my point, turn towards my point. Let the airplane slow down a little bit here. There we are, nice 65 knots, that's nice and elegant. Roll the wings level, bring the last notch of flaps. A little bit too much power now. Area Vista traffic, Piper 2863 Mike's turning final runway 25 Rio Vista. And I'm just going to modulate the power and I'm going to pick the point I'm flying towards and I'm going to try and just hold that point in the same place while the airplane slows down. A little bit of a crosswind, so we're going to compensate for the crosswind by leaning into the crosswind and keeping it straight with a rudder pedal. Now there's the 60 knots, bang on. Starting to sink a little, add a little bit of power. Lean into the, into the wind, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Here's my, here's my aiming point, power comes to idle, flare, we're down, and then we're going to put the brakes on, we're going to drop the flaps, and we're going to hold the nose out of the dirt. Yeah. Then we come up onto the yellow line, transition to the yellow line, and we're going to follow the yellow line round, and start to relax that, and do the top latch, and do this, pop the door open, get some fresh air in here. Your airplane. I have the airplane. Where is the restroom? Right okay. in front of us. Now reverse the traffic, Piper 2863 Mike's clear of the active, taxi to the terminal, Rio Vista. I just park over there where those things are. Slow down before you taxi between these things, because you don't want to pick up a chain, right? Right. Oh, don't taxi over the chain. Oh, that chain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha, okay. You, you pick a chain up, you'll be sick. That'll do. Yeah, shut down, I got avionics off. Traffic Cherokee 2863 Mike taking 25 Rio Vista. Be staying in the pattern. I'll keep it rolling. Yep. Right. Bring this all the way back. Get that nose out of the dirt. Takes a lot of power to taxi in in uh, in grass, right? Push the nose down. Push the nose down. Get airspeed. Push, push, push. That's it. Now start to clean it up. All right. Yeehaw, mama, we're flying.
birds. Lunch time. Yeah, don't don't hit a bird. That's ugly. But don't ever fly without glasses on, right? Okay. Um, the the uh, the big aviator glasses are not just about being big aviator cool glasses. They're about if the windshield gets broken for any reason, at least you'll be able to see something. That's true. Bird strike is disastrous. So. Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, turning crosswind 25 Rio Vista. So everything is normal, and then a beam the threshold. I want you to bring the power all the way to idle. And uh, tell me again. Keep, keep, that's all right. Keep the turn going. Which uh, oh, um, it's going to be a power off approach, right? Power it's going to be a, yeah. It's going to be a um, uh, a dead stick. Well, dead stick, yeah. Um, or a a, uh, a short approach, if you like. Uh, let me handle the radio. Okay. Uh, Rio Vista traffic, Piper 2863 Mike's turning right downwind, runway 25 at Rio Vista. This will be a short approach. Will he do the radio on his thing? Yep. Or? Oh, he will? Yep. He, 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 he doesn't want you dealing with unnecessary overload. Be conscious of the drift now, right? Yeah. And remember, go around's not an option. And uh, tell me what you want. Half way down. I, I want it. I, I want it at least. Uh, you. I want you to touch down before that crossing taxiway. But I mean, when do you want me to turn off the power? Uh, uh, oh, as soon as you get a beam the okay. to the two five. <coughs> Rio Vista traffic. Piper two eight six three. Mike. Short approach. Rio Vista runway two five. That best glide. I think we've got it made, notch of flaps. Okay, hey, slip it aggressively. Right, full full run out, that's the way. I had it, but now I'm going off the runway. That's right. So. That's, all, that's all right. That's all right. You can you can still fly sideways. It's okay, right? Just watch your airspeed. That's the main thing, right? Don't slip it aggressively. There you go. All right, your airplane. Airplane. Get straight. All right, we can taxi back. Okay. Now I've heard another thing about the uh, all the way to the end. Okay. Um, <coughs> mm -hmm. Taking off the flaps on the runway. Yeah. So some people will say no. I like doing it because it makes me sink and I get more I, traction. I I I I am fine with it. Um, I I tell people with with retractable gear airplanes to consider the risk. Right. With retractable gear, if you raise the gear instead of the flaps. Although technically that's not supposed to happen, right? If you have a damaged squat switch, the gear will come up and then you're done. We've had that happen a few times at Concord. Remember we had a guy in a really nice bonanza? Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 63 might clear 25 Rio Vista. We had a guy um, uh, uh, basically pop the flaps up. So on a short field landing, you have to put the flaps up. Uh -huh. Right, you you got no choice. You got, you got to be able to get the weight on the wheels. Um, so, in in the uh, in the basic airplanes, fixed gear airplanes, yeah, absolutely, put the flaps up. Um, in in the retractable gear ones, the problem is in the um, 
in the the um, the bonanza, the the um, uh, the flaps are here, and the gear is here, which is exactly where the flaps are for a 172. Right. So if a guy has 172 training and goes to put the flaps up, and he's a little bit distracted, he brings the bloody gear up. And no. that's a recipe for a big scratch in the runway, and the county doesn't like a big scratch in the runway. <coughs> Rivista traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike taxing the 25 Rivista. You're also out the price of a very expensive engine, a very expensive yep. propeller. You know, gear up in a, something like a Bonanza is an $80,000 hit. Yeah, I that's my. That was my thoughts too, and that's what I've yeah. been told. So, yeah. but but yeah. it helps. I think maintain control. Oh, when it, after especially on this plane, it loves to float. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm 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 all for getting rid of any lift aiding devices. I mean, the ideal is to have spoilers. You know, little little uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll little that things that br break up the uh, break up the airflow of the wing. It makes the airplanes a lot more flyable. I'll tell you. I mean, that's the thing with uh, you know higher performance aircraft like Moonies, for example. Um, they're nice airplanes. Uh, I don't fit well in the right seat of a Mooney, but left seat is fine. Uh, but having spoilers, oh, it's a delight because you can go down and slow down, and, and, and those are you're normally mutually exclusive. You know, yeah. c complex airplanes quite often won't go down and slow down, and if you need to combine the two, that makes it hard. So you know, the, the rule of the road there is you, you end up having to to start your descents. You know, 50 miles out from the airport. You know, but you cover it in the ground at three miles a minute, right? So. I do eventually want to fly uh, bigger aircraft or oh, retractable yeah. gear, so oh, yeah, that's yeah. why I, I want to mean I'm very aware of habit forms and oh, stuff yes, like yes, that, yes. so yes. that's why I don't want to do the flap thing because of that. Yeah. But at the same time, it uh, a plane like this, I find it almost necessary in some aspects. Well, the point is, you won't find many other airplanes with, with, uh, which are complex that have Johnson Bar right. uh, flaps, true, right? right? There, there's not too many of those. Some of the early, some of the early arrows did. But, uh, so again, we'll do a soft field departure. Do we want me to right. go through this whole thing again? No, okay. I, just, I just want to do a soft field departure, configure the airplane for soft field. This time, the examiner will take because it's a it's a piper. It's got direct steering. The examiner will tell you right from the from once you cross this line, it's mud, right? Right. So treat it like it's mud, right? So that means get the weight off that nose wheel, right? That means the yoke full back, and don't try not to use the brakes. Yep. He wants to see you control the airplane without. Nah, don't add power. Gently, gently. Just, just, no. yeah. Just take your feet off the brakes and then let the airplane roll. Right. Once the airplane is moving. Right? Don't be in such a rush with it, right? Try and keep your feet off the brakes if you can. Don't don't rush anything. Yeah, Rio Vista traffic. Uh, Piper 2863 Mike's taking runway 25 at Rio Vista. We'll be staying in the pattern. So, you know, so everything is... Everything's un under control now, right? Okay. So smooth... Do trying to take the runway in a hurry is something you can do with concrete. You can't do in mud, right? Keep that yoke all the way back until the till the nose floats off here. Now hold the nose in that position. Push the nose down. Lower the nose, lower the nose. That's it, that's it. Build up airspeed. There you go, you can get rid of some of the flaps. Good. Excellent. Typically to taxi in grass, you're going to need about 1700 RPM. Grass is really grippy stuff, except when it's wet, in which case it has no traction at all. So do a short approach again, and this time I want you to start the slip earlier. Right. I'll show you a little elegant slip in the turn. Right, slipping turns are perfectly safe, nothing wrong with them at all, and they are so sexy. <laughs> right? 
and, and that, that's something which shows you know a little bit of extra capability the examiner loves that stuff right area of the traffic Piper 2863 uh, Mike's turning right downwind, runway 25 at Rio Vista, and this will be a short approach. Oh, let's pitch it up, bring the power back. Let's not frighten the cattle. What did you say? Let's not frighten the cattle. You've got the best expressions. Well, what can I say? <laughs> just, the way my, about the just, just the way my trousers hang <laughs> right. <laughs> I think you got something, a supermarket buggy earlier too. That was oh yes, the supermarket the, trolley. Yeah, yeah, trolley. That's <laughs> yeah. Took me a second to like what? Well, that's okay. It's good. Oh, for yeah. you. It's good for your soul it's and linguistic exact, development. I, 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 I approve of that. Agree. I love traveling because of that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Rio Vista traffic. Piper two eight six three. Mike. Short approach. Two five. Rio Vista. Like uh, traveling, and I didn't even have to leave. Oh, that, and it's free. That's it's, the other yeah, thing. yeah, well, sort of. It's, it's not, we're not paying extra for it, right? <laughs> right, yeah. <coughs> no extra charge. Be careful, you don't lose sight of the don't runway now, right? Yeah. So start, start your way in. But you can see that we're quite high, right? But just... You, you, so c try and keep the airplane in a, in a turn. There's no need to fly a regular pattern. Okay. Right? But one of the things you can do to lose or chat airspeed, right? So just pu push the thing into a slip while the wing is down like this, look. And now, now you're making a slipping turn. Right? See how you lose extra extra height? Yeah. It's much easier because you, you've got the ability to slide down the wing. And just relax the, uh, the rudder pressure. And now you're in a much better place, right? Yeah. And, and now you, so that's just an easy way to lose altitude faster is in the turn, right? Well, I'm worried about that's, no, it's beautiful, it's fine, it's fine, it's, Don't it's perfect, don't mess with it, it's perfect. Right, you just ground shy, that'll, that'll go away with practice, it's perfect. There you go, put on all the flaps and you're in. Yeah, put them all in. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Great, with your feet, with your feet, with your feet. That's right. And let's go. We'll go back to Concord. Good stuff. Good, good. Your speed's alive. Power up, pitch up, flaps up, gear up. Perfect. All right. Up, up. Okay, so there's an extra little way to... A, a, a more effective slip when you're in the turn. You've got less lift to start with. By slowing the turn down with a rudder, step on the sky. Right? Stepping on the sky is anti-spin. You won't you won't spin from a slip. Doesn't happen. And it just gives you much better rate of descent control. As soon as you relax the pressure on the rudder pedals, even if you take your feet off, yeah, you know the airplane will resume its normal flying. That makes sense. So it's got a tremendous range of control. But when, when you're slipping in level flight, your your range is a bit restricted. But but it's. Uh, not hard to do at all. Right, back to Concord, do a couple of short field landings, and we'll work it out from there. <coughs> Rio Vista traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike, departing to the west, last call, Rio Vista. 2500. Ah, 2000's good, unless you want to do... Oh, we need to do some ground reference maneuvers, don't we? Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, let's head over to the, uh, over to the, uh, to the north over there. So, uh... Past this uh, this row of cottages, thousand feet's good. Just bring a power back, and we'll row just, of we'll, cottages. I don't yeah, see we'll, we'll mess oh, up, that. we'll okay. mess about up there. Uh, yeah, there's like a funny looking barn thing. Yeah, I see. It. We'll go past that, and you can see that you've got a light green field uh, just north of that. Yep. And then there's a, there's a uh, a grey field north of the green field, and then there's a corner. See the corner with the grey field. To the T intersection. Yeah, the T intersection. Okay. I don't think it's a T, but yeah, no, the, cool. the working equivalent, yeah. And then we'll do some turns around a point. 2500, clock 5221, Cessna 3 Whiskey Whiskey. Number 3 Whiskey Whiskey, Red. Number 3 Whiskey Whiskey, your radar contact two miles north of Concord VOR. Okay. Uh, Mike, could you give us a new uh, altitude to maintain? Number two, up 
Mike, a firm uh, 10 Let's make sure three we haven't got any real critters in there. Uh, there are some critters that are over to one side. Yeah, there's. Uh, uh, looks like there's a bunch of sheep down there. Or she sheep, sheep are less trouble. Um, cattle are, co are expensive. Um, so... Uh, maybe we can go a little bit uh, further up. Uh, For Cal approach, I, just, I, just don't, I just don't want to be with his wires and his, and his uh, cows. 80168, Travis approach, roger. Uh, yeah, we can, we, can, we can try. Just show me a turn around a point left and right on at this intersection. Now, don't forget your entry direction, right? Number 168, you're on a Travis approach, and uh, the Travis altimeter is 3017. 3017 Golf X-ray, Rare Service Terminus, Golf approved. Frequency change approved, 117 Golf X-ray. Yeah, this is good, 800 feet's good. Stay the same distance from that point, right? It's distance from the point that matters.